All right, welcome back to WM Macy Now with your host Chuck Stevenson coming at you with a fight review. So we're going to last weekend, Bellator 268. We're going to the flyweight division. Samiko Inaba coming in at 2-0, taking on Randy Field, also coming in at 2-0. So here you have two young undefeated fighters taking each other on, you know, putting an O on the line against each other early in their careers. Now, normally I don't do a fight review on a, if it's, you know, a week or more, but I just rewatched this fight and it was just as good, if not better, upon second viewing than it was the first. So I said, you know what? These two put on a hell of a fight, class act, action fight, you know, class act fight. Really nice, good effort from two young prospects. I said, I got to do a review on this and pay my respects to these two young ladies because they deserve it. So let's get into it. So first round, both ladies came out very aggressive and, you know, each of them actually took turns being the aggressor. And honestly, each seemed to do better when they were the one moving forward. Like both of these ladies do their best work when they are moving forward. Now Field uh, took Inaba down off of a caught kick. She caught one of Inaba's kicks, but Inaba, man, she's fast. Got right back up, you know, she, uh, Field wasn't even able to get fully on top of her. Inaba got to her side, got, got up really fast. I mean, it was like, like, like that. Um, Inaba, she uh, failed a single leg against the cage real fast, but uh, then went right back to the center. And then Inaba, during during like a little bit of a firefight, you know, she landed a combination, and I think it was like a one-two, or it was like a multi multi-punch combination off of a kick. Hit field with a hard crushing right hook that dropped Field to one knee. It was about 20 seconds left when that hit. Inaba, you know, tried to pile it on. Field got right back up to her feet. Inaba tried to pour it on, but Field, you know, she gutted it out and made it to the end of the round, managed to survive the first. So we went into the second, and the second got even better. Um, Inaba was more accurate with her hands early in this round compared to the first. Uh, you could tell she had found her timing. Now, Field was still in it, she was landing punches of her own. They clinched, and an elbow opened up a cut over Field's eye, started bleeding. Uh, Field landed a left knee and then a right knee that looked really nice. Um, but then Inaba reached down, grabbed on to one leg for a single leg, and very nice, very nicely, you know, spun Field out away from the cage to get the takedown. So now they were away from the cage. Um, and Inaba got the takedown and moved into half guard. Now Field, Field she tried to roll for a leg log. Didn't work out for her. I not because Inaba rolled with her very deftly. Landed right on top of Field in side control. Uh, locked on a arm triangle choke. And then Inaba just jumped right over the body of Field because Field basically had it on the opposite side of where she was at. Jumped over the body of Field to get to the same side for the arm triangle choke, which just tightened it up that much quick. Like as soon as Field was only over on the proper side for like maybe one or two seconds and Field was tapping. For, so your winner, Sum Sumiko Inaba via arm triangle choke submission, two minutes, two seconds of the second round. Tell you what, this was a firefight. Okay, neither stopped moving, neither stopped trying to land. They were each going for the win the entire time. Absolute firefight, very exciting. If you haven't seen it yet, you gotta watch it. Um, one thing I noticed that was very interesting was that you know Field was very accurate with her hands early, whereas Inaba, she was accurate with her kicks early in the fight more than her hands. Like her hands were missing more often than her kicks were. Whereas Field was very accurate with her hands early and then started missing more as the fight went on. Inaba, quite the opposite. She was more accurate with her kicks than her hands. But as the fight wore on, Inaba uh, started to land more and more with her hands. She, Like I said in the uh, second round, you know, she had found her timing. 
And then I have in my notes here that by the time Inaba went for the takedown in the second round, Field seemed kind of mentally defeated. And that could have been because of the cut. You know, some fighters, as soon as they know they're bleeding, they can't take it. Maybe it was just the inexperience. Maybe she was just hurt too much because Field was taking some hard shots. I think Inaba stunned her a little bit before the clinch. And then you land that hard elbow. Probably just wasn't able to recover as well. Now, she did try to go for that leg lock, which was nice, but I think she just... And I could be wrong here. This is just my reading. But she just seemed kind of like mentally defeated because by the time Inaba landed, you know, locked on that triangle choke, it, it was... You could tell it was over. Um, and then, I gotta admit here, you know, I, I liked what I seen from her in her first two fights, but right now after seeing this one, Inaba... She looks like a legit prospect. Okay, she is showing improvement each time out, working on, uh, you know, little things. She has good killer instinct, and she seems hungry. Those are all three things that I really like to look for in young prospects. They got to be hungry, and I think this is what Inaba's third fight this year. Let me look here real quick. Let's see, Inaba fought, this is her second fight this year. She fought once in November of last year and then twice this year in May and then October. So three fights in less than a calendar year. She's obviously hungry. She has good killer instinct. She's won all three of her fights by finish. Uh, she's taking on tougher opponents each time. And she, like I said, she's just showing a lot of improvement from fight to fight. So, yeah, these are all things that I like to see in a young prospect. And Inaba is showing all of them. And you know what? She has the aesthetics too. And that helps a, lot, a young fighter like her as well. Because when people see, you know, a young pretty girl and she's doing really well, that's going to boost her up a lot more than, you know, just any old average fighter. I, you hate to say it, but it's true. It just is. She has a lot of things going for her, and that includes the X Factor. She has a lot of charisma going for her. She's naturally charismatic, too. It's not just looks. She has, like, a, an energy to her that is kind of infectious and, you know, has that good energy and just very charismatic. So, I... Definitely see a lot of potential in this young lady, Sumiko Inaba. Now let's get into things to work on. Uh, for Let's stick with Inaba here. Uh, I'd like to see her work angles more. You know, she's very much in and out, in and out with her striking, but it's always in a straight line. I'd like to see her work more angles off of her striking. That way she's not moving in a straight line all the time because eventually an opponent is going to uh, be able to time that better and figure that out more. Whereas if she starts adding some angles, some angular movement in, it'll be a lot harder to counter. Because if a fighter's going straight back, you can time it for the counter. Whereas if they're moving at different angles each time, it's a lot harder to counter. Um, one thing I did put as well, that right hook is money. If she keeps using that to good effect, it's going to take her very far because she puts some good power behind it. Now for Field, she's got to work on her head movement. You know, on the outside, she was using some. She was bobbing and weaving a little bit on the outside, like like faint bob and weave movement on the outside. But as soon as, you know, they were in the pocket, her head was just straight up and down, not moving to the side at all just never moved her head in the pocket. So she's really got to work on that because she was eating a lot of punches as the fight went on. Now, for fights to make. For Field, you know, when Bellator is building a prospect, they bring in fighters that they often don't bring back. So I don't know if they'll actually bring her back. So let's focus on someone that we know Bellator is working on building. On So let's talk about Sumiko Inaba. I think 
they should build put her up in against Valerie Lareda. Now, supposedly, Lareda has a fight coming up. She's kind of teased it. She said, oh, the rumors are true. I've got a fight coming up. No announcement yet, so... And she's been saying that for well over a month, so who knows if she actually has one or not. I think it's time to put these two against each other. For Naba, it would be like a name for her to really build herself against. For Lareda... It is a chance to rebound against a fellow soaring prospect. And, you know, a lot of people, they don't like to see two young prospects put against each other so early. Personally, I do not mind that. Okay, let these prospects at least get a taste of a fellow prospect early in their careers. You know, the earlier you take an L in your career, the better in MMA. This isn't boxing where you take an L Anytime before your 20th pro fight and you're done as a pro, basically. Like, you're seen as, oh, you're not a prospect anymore. You're, you're, you're damaged goods. This is MMA. You take an L earlier in, in your career, you get it out of the way, okay? That undefeated record can be a detriment to fighters because then they want to start protecting that O. In MMA, it's okay to take an L early on in your career. So if either of them takes an L, they can rebound from it. Now, I think Lareda's coming off of her loss to Hannah Guy. Even if you take two, it's not so bad. And so if she were to lose to Inaba, no big deal. Inaba's a, you know, an up-and-coming young prospect herself. Whereas if Inaba were to lose to Lareda, it's a name. Like, Lareda's at least a name fighter. You know, she may not be the best prospect out there, but she is at least a name fighter. So no matter, so whoever wins is going to come out very far ahead. Whoever loses isn't going to be any worse for the wear. So I think that that's a very good fight for Bellator to make. Do I think they'll make it? No. They're going to keep these two away from each other. But I, if I were the matchmaker, I would make this fight because I think that fight has a lot of uh, potential for fireworks okay both like to strike Inaba hits hard um, Lareda you know occasionally hits hard she has a couple you know TKOs on her record so I think that would be a good matchup anyway I like this fight very much I thought it was a very good fight if you haven't seen it yet I will link to it in the description and probably a pinned comment I'll try to remember to um so go ahead and check it out, and then come back and let me know your thoughts on it in the comments down below. Now, if you like the video, please give it a like, and while you're at it, go ahead and subscribe to WMMAC Now, the most complete women's mixed martial arts dedicated platform on YouTube. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.